What's up guys, DC Hunting through Gaming Tech here, and I finally have the time to do this. Um, Persona 4 Golden, my review, my uh, impressions, the way I feel about the game, you name it. All I gotta say is this game is amazing. Um, now you guys know I'm a big uh, Vita fan, and I'm a, also a, a big handheld fanatic, 3DS, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Android, tablets, you name it. Um, and just to be on the on the the real side with you guys, there are a lot of games that's on the Vita that the, the Vita is lacking a lot of games. For for what this hardware is, it is a monster of a system, but it's lacking the games. Like um, and then there are games that just suck. Uh, like uh, Declassified, the campaign is terrible, but I have loads of fun with the multiplayer. Uh, games like Ragnarok Odyssey, an amazing game. Uh, but I usually just play for online to play with multiplayer, multi, uh, multiple players. It's like they only want you to play multiplayer because there are some bosses in there that just completely destroy you. Um, then, then you got then you got other games. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a bunch of other games on there like uh, Silent Hill, Book of Memories. The multiplayer isn't that great. Um, you got a lot of games on there that's just not getting there. Um, even though uh, Call of Duty was redone uh, done by the guys that did Resistance. It's not the same type of multiplayer compared to res how terrible Resistance Online was. Um, but uh, let's get into it. If you own a Vita, this, if you are an RPG fan, if you love JRPG, this is a must buy. This is a system seller. I don't care what anyone tells you, I don't care what no one sits there and lie to you saying it doesn't have any games. By far, this is the best RPG. This generation, in my personal perspective, consoles, 3DS, you name it. I don't care what anybody tells you. Amazing game. I'm freaking stoked. The day this game came out, I couldn't put it down. I'm about 20 hours in. I play it when I go to work. I play it when I have free time. You, you know, when I'm not doing Wii U videos, and I'm not doing it right now, I can't do any PS3 videos because my PS3 is out. should be back this week. But I can't, without that, this thing goes everywhere with me everywhere everywhere this get this is a system seller so let, let, let's get into it the reason I can basically go into this without finishing it before because I re I finished the original persona 4 back on the original other console the other PlayStation 2 console it, it was a beast of a system then it was a it was a monster of a game then and it's still a monster of a game now and they've added so much more to it over 60 hours of gameplay back to the traditional Final Fantasy style uh, battle system where you actually see the role of characters collecting your um your data uh, what's it called in character interactions uh, what is it? Battle animations, attack animations, re-added, fatigueness from being uh, hit too much, all of that. And then the OLED display just pumps beautiful colors into it. You you have this giant city that you basically go through, and you got to, during the daytime, uh, basically the synopsis of the game is, you're basically a student that just came from the big city. Um, you find out there's some weird stuff going on in the little city you move to. During the daytime, you go to school, you juggle your school life in game. You juggle your school life, answering questions that's asked to you by by teachers, building up your uh, your your learning ability, your stats, and all that other stuff. Juggling a relationship, friends, and basically you determine how the game goes by your answers and how you question things. You have multiple ways of answering things, like you were in college in high school as a high school student going through the best high school time of your life hanging with friends doing whatever then at night you basically go through a dimension portal and fight these demons that's literally trying to kill the people in the town you live in um so basically the uh, the, the synopsis is basically there's something throwing people into another dimension and you have to go into this dimension and you try to figure out what's going on uh, the people that's left in the dimension, their shadows uh, go ape shit on them and kills them. Then they end up dead in the real world. 
and basically you're trying to stop this because you're starting to lose some of your friends then you have about three people you already have your persona uh, spoiler by the way but once you get once your friends go inside uh, the next dimension they end up meeting their shadows and if they deny their shadows their shadows will try to kill them but if you face your shadows it turns into their persona which now helps them fight adding different weapon abilities, adding a new character to it so there's more of a dialogue there. Being able to go back through your dialogue which now has speech and different languages, uh, Japanese and I think some, something else for the actual voice dialogue. Character interactions are amazing, funny comments, humor. This game has all, everything packed in one and it's amazing. The, the You're not fighting the same mobs over and over again. The the, the the fighting style, the music has changed, the music sounds awesome, the game just looks amazing and it is the best handheld game, JRPG, Persona 4 is a must have, a must buy, um, I would do some gameplay but there's a lot of dialogue that weren't the area I'm going through right now, it is a must buy game if you own a Playstation Vita, if you don't have a Vita, go out and get this if you're a JRPG fan. And you already know, you already know what I'm going to tell you, 10, 10 out of 10, beast of a game, best, you have over 60 hours and more, you end up being lost going into different areas, doing so much other side quests and doing different things that you think is the main mission, but it's not. And it just drags you out and the game, it's just over a hundred hours of opportunities to play on a handheld on the go that only gets better which each character is has their own humor. It's a must buy. That's all I'm going to say. This is DC19 through your gaming tech. Definitely go out and buy the game. Pick it up. If you don't own a Vita, this is the best time to get it. The best time to get it. Best RPG, best game on a handheld right now. I, that's This ain't coming from a fanboy. This is coming from somebody that shoots real shit all day long. DC19 through your gaming tech out.